okay I'm installing that uh, barn door and uh, I decided I'm gonna come over here because there's a bunch of houses that they are still building so I'm gonna see if I could find the exact model that I'm working in to see what kind of uh, framing is above that uh, that door where I'm putting the door where I'm putting the barn door in um, I have a feeling that there's a big header there which in that case I don't need to technically find studs because I'm putting in the header but I'm just kind of curious you know uh, since we got homes that are still being built I'm gonna uh, see what I could find and if I could find one that doesn't have the drywall in it uh, I think just for my curiosity I want to see and you know, I want to see what they're what they're doing in there these days so we're gonna go into uh, try and find a model It's a 2064 he said is the model uh, so we're gonna uh, track that down and uh, see if we could find that exact door that uh, that we're working on and see what kind of framing they do above that so I think here's one up here let's see okay we didn't find the exact model but this is one close so we are actually uh, gonna measure this I think where our, our screws will go in one here and then one above here so we will need to find these center studs one there one there so yeah see we're looking at about 85 and three quarter all right probably not needed to come and take a look at this stuff but you know they're building so it's kind of kind of curious just to kind of see how they do things uh you know behind walls it's kind of fun to see so not the exact model like i said but this is kind of the same door frame that we're talking about so we're gonna have one stud in the middle looks like that's pretty standard of how they uh how they have been building them so we're gonna do they're not necessarily even 16 on center here um or here so that's like 24 on center or whatever but so at least we know how these guys are building them uh, so they got one one stud in the center on each one and then a double double header plate there So kind of cool to see that so we kind of know what we're what we're dealing with behind the drywall. So that's kind of fun Like I said, that was probably not needed to take a look at that uh, the framing, but they're building houses, man. It's like uh, this is like getting to have X-ray vision, kind of cool. I was working on a uh, a friend's house the other day. Well, I did an estimate for him, and he wanted some lighting ran in his garage, uh, and he's got basically there. It's a it's a two-story house, so their bedrooms right above the garage. Um, and it's a new new subdivision just like this and he's like oh they're actually building because I was telling him like depending on the way that the that the joists run and this and that we're, you know we might have to drill a couple holes in the drywall uh, to run our run our wire as we want and he's like oh they're actually building the same model down the street so we took a walk and we went and looked at it and if anything it's just fun just to do that so I told him I'm like take a picture of everything at this house because even in 20 years if you want to do something and you're curious how they uh, framed it or how they ran this or that you're going to want to refer back to these pictures so it's helpful no matter what but anyways let's get back to this barn door here
All right, I got my uh, track or backer wood there. There's my track. So we're gonna go and throw the track up there. These are where I'm putting the track holes here. So just follow the instructions. It's kind of interesting. Usually when I've installed these tracks before in the past, you just install them right into the studs. But on this particular model, it came with a backer board, as you see here, and they want you to put that in, in each of the studs um, and then uh, mount your track up to that. So kind of interesting, as we saw in that house that we were building, uh, these are obviously right on the edge here. And then this one is offset that way a bit, which is quite interesting, which is uh, probably, yeah, that's actually 24 center. And then this one is barely anything. That's me, if I was a key. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put the stoppers on. We're getting there. All right, this door is kind of interesting. If it's open all the way, there is obviously a gap here, so we need to adjust that stop. But we need to move it on the other side of that bolt, so I'm gonna take that bolt out. And then we're gonna set it about, probably about right there or so. So there's a little bit, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap on either side of the door. Not too much though. It's not really for soundproofing just so they could put a sofa here.
All right, that's a wrap. Pretty awesome day. We are heading off to the dump to finish off our day. It's Friday and this weekend we're actually going to get some furniture for our travel trailer. <laughs> if you guys don't know what that's about, uh, check that out. We have a whole playlist uh, about our travel trailer and we've, we're completely remodeling it right now because we're moving into it. We're selling our house, moving into a travel trailer. Um, that I'll link that up here, you can check that out. Uh, but we're doing a full remodel and we're videotaping it all. Uh, for you guys taking you all along with there uh, we've done flooring we've done cabinets we've first gutted the whole thing uh, and then next we're gonna be getting some furniture so I got to get all this stuff out of the back of my truck to go get some furniture um, but uh, this job was a great job today uh, total uh, labor for today uh, came right at 500 bucks it was 125 bucks for that outside ceiling fan 75 bucks uh, for um, 75 bucks for that TV uh, and then 300 bucks for that uh, barn door so uh, I think that yeah that's 500 bucks exactly <laughs> and then uh, we replaced the uh, the stuff on that ceiling fan in the master or put that stuff there because if you, if you didn't watch the last vlog at this house which I'll link that up here as well um, that stuff with that fan just didn't come with that fan so he had to order that call up the fan manufacturer or I think it was lamps plus maybe and they uh, sent it out to him free of charge so I told him once he gets that I'll put it up there no problem didn't take me very long uh, but yeah that was a great job we are heading off to the dump like I said to get rid of this stuff and uh, if you want to check out that playlist for the travel trailer and our journey on that it's called to be debt free that's our whole mission is to be debt free so uh, heading off to the dump. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Have a great one, guys. We'll see you on the next video.